Namaste. I am Dr. K. Sinischal, practicing as a consultant dermatologist at Nirmal Skin and Hair Clinic, Bengaluru. I am practicing since 2007 and dermatology has seen vast expansion. Aesthetic dermatology has become a part of clinical dermatology and we are catering to both aesthetic dermatology as well as clinical dermatology since 2007. Intense pulse light is one of the therapeutic modality which is used in aesthetic dermatology. It is used for various indications because it's a light with a wide spectrum of wavelength. So the wavelength ranges from 500 to 1200 nanometers. Lasers or light, it works on a principle of a chromophore, means there is some molecule in the skin or in the tissue which absorbs that wavelength in a particular manner so that it has a very focused action. See, for example, whenever we are speaking about laser hair reduction, it is the melanin which is in the hair follicle which is important. Whenever we are speaking about anti-aging, it is the heating of the dermis which is important and the chromophore is water. Or when we are speaking about the blood vessels, it is hemoglobin. So, a particular wavelength of light is absorbed by a particular molecule and that is how the results become more targeted. So, intense pulse light has a wide range of wavelength. So what happens is whenever we are treating any skin condition with intense pulse light, we usually use filter so that we try to cut off other wavelengths. However, the light in intense pulse light is not as coherent means the light is not traveling the same direction like the other rays. Usually what happens is the light rays, they are usually scattering. So that is how the natural light is. Whenever we do lasers, the laser light is all the rays of light, they are propagating in a straight line or in a single direction. In case of intense pulse light, they are not going in a single direction. So what happens is naturally when a light goes in a single direction, it is more focused. So then the energy is more. Whenever the rays are going haphazardly, then the energy is less. See, this is the main difference between your intense pulse light and laser. So lasers are more focused, they have more energy, intense pulse light, they work like laser but because the rays are scattered, they have lesser energy. Even though they have lesser energy, you can definitely use the same thing to treat conditions just like how you treat with a laser. But the efficacy is slightly low. So intense pulse light can be used to treat dark spots as well as wrinkles. Dark spots basically are solar lentigens or the aging spots. So whenever we are doing intense pulse light for these spots, it's more like an anti-aging process. Any anti-aging process, it takes time. It requires multiple sessions, probably around six to eight sessions it requires. The sessions are, are done at an interval of about two to three weeks. So they help to overall stimulate the collagen. They try to reduce the melanin so that it gives freshness, glow to the skin and it helps in reducing the spots. However, when the spots are darker and deeper, we may have to do a laser along with intense pulse light to improve the tone and texture of the skin. Any treatment requires maintenance, be it intense pulse light or laser. See, aging is a continuous process. There is no break in aging process. So it's a continuous phenomena and whenever we want to do anything anti-aging, it requires a sustained maintenance, be it in the form of a lifestyle change or use of a product or with the procedures. So IPL light, that is the intense pulse light also is the same. So you need to have multiple sessions. Once the results are achieved, you try to do a session like two or three months once to maintain the skin. If you do this way, the results are much more long lasting. As I told you, IPL, that is the intense pulse light is a non-coherent light. So the energy is much lesser when compared to the focus light which is there in a laser. Naturally, lasers fare much better than intense pulse light. However, it all depends upon the call of your dermatologist to select which procedure, either IPL or the laser. It all depends on how well dermatologist can use the technology to give best result.